All right, hello, 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 and welcome. It is time for Tuesday night and our times within Roshanna. Roshanna. <clears throat> Last where we left off after a beautiful dinner, our <clears throat> amazing group had learned that there was some screams and a possible attack that occurred down within the shadow sile beneath uh, Roshana and they also had information on a plot that seems to be Empire uh, originated and with all these things plus new information being found um potential alliances along with Marlboro uh, learning some of the customs of the Echo Knights and deciding whether or not they want to be a part of them and continuum and mostly they do uh, we will get into day as Marlboro and Nailumia had transported down deep within the Shadow Shire, Shire and the rest of our crew use their various abilities and magic to get there shortly after for now, the first official round in this particular encounter where everybody is here, Nilumia is very bloody. And we shall see if the Junior Archmage survives. Let's see what it goes on. And with that, we will get into uh, today. So, we will start out here is it is going to be Hope's turn. Matt, can I interject one thing? Absolutely. Uh, I have a lot of these point channel points and I'd like to put use them in, for inspiration. I know art department sometimes puts them in and stuff. I won't take any of them, but I was going to, I, I don't know what else to do with the points. So, But I wanted your permission first. Uh, go ahead. Makes sense to me. I'll put one in for you, Marlboro. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to. Uh, nope, full no, full thing. That's yeah. Fine. Makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Nobody's gonna complain. No. All can right. Somebody, can yeah. somebody get uh, Dilumia out of there? Yeah. 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 Okay. I think. I think. I think so. Okay, um, then I'm going to Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a moonbeam on not the one on top of Nilumia, the one behind it. Yeah. And that's at the start of its turn. Okay. So, all right. So, Moonbeam goes. So, not the one that's right in front of Anumia, but right behind. All right. Yes. Not the one grappling her, the other. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want to hit Nilumia. You got it. <sighs> yep. And that is going to be at sixth level. Nice. And can I try to. Am I within 30 feet of the one on top of Nilumia? They're right here, honey. Is that, is that, so that's within 30 is, feet. Is that 30 feet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then can I try to use telekinetic shove and get it off of her? Love it. And it needs a strength 18. It's resisted. For 21. Oh, All right. Everyone, don't forget to pick up your inspos. Yes, and it's all I got for right now. Okay, Marlboro, you're next. Okay, um, can I run up to the one right next to where Nilumia is, and will that put me in melee with the uh, creature? Absolutely. Yeah, there we go. All right, I will... Uh, Go reckless and, and do this all the stuff. 
20 to hit plus whatever's on the board. Is that two, 22 to hit? Yeah. Uh, be 14, 16, 26 points of magical slashing damage. And how do you want to kill it? Ah, well, I just, I'll just kind of charge up and just ram it right, right at the base of the neck, right through the back of the back, out, out the back of its head. I love it. Yeah. It drops an Illumia. Um, I'll, am I, can I stay within touch of Nilumia and get to the other one? Get right in between them. Okay. Alright, and I'll take my second attack. Just remember, that there's one. a moonbeam right there. Yeah, it's I'm outside five foot, of it, so right? shouldn't be fine. So you should be fine. It's only that, five foot. Uh, okay. Yeah, they're not in danger of it. Alright, here we go. Uh, it's probably not... That's, that one I don't think is going to hit. It's going to be a, a fifth... 14, 14, I think. Plus two? Yeah, that's plus two. All right. That's going to miss. All right. I'll take my third. Yeah. I'll that's take my third good. swing. Right. Uh, natural 20. Yeah. So let's see. That's going to be. Uh, I've got to reroll a couple of those. Hold on. There's two. So that's three points. So that's 18. Nine, twenty-seven, twenty-nine, thirty-nine points of magical slashing damage, nice. and five points of lightning damage. Very good. I am lightning. Yeah, well, that was two d six. It I only got a, a five points out of that. Yeah, uh, usually you say one. I know. <laughs> um, I will. So I, I see my friends have come in to the to my right. Is that correct? Correct. Yep. I'll and manifest. Guy, guy. I'll manifest the echo behind, um, somewhere behind the group, somewhere behind in within or behind the group. Okay. But you're right next to Stolas, that sweet little pumpkin. Okay, and now as <laughs> I'm going to activate the boots of. Uh, Echo Knight and grab Nilumia and vamp to that and swap places with the Echo. Oh, you could take her with you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> so, That's some good boobs. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me uh, just make sure I'm telling everything right. I can bring an object or willing medium or smaller creature with me. Yeah. She's definitely uh, smaller. Um, and so I create a vacuum, and each of the creatures within five feet must make a constitution saving throw. Of, good Lord, I don't know what this is. Uh, DC is eight plus my proficiency modifier plus my constitution modifier. So All right. Um, in plus five tw- plus. Five, so 18. Yeah, it got a 31. <laughs> a 31? Okay, great. It takes... Uh, <laughs> 2d10 uh, halved, so. Uh, that's 12, 12, 12 points of some kind of damage. Hold on, I guess I should have told you. I feel like it's uh, force. Uh, force damage. Yeah. Nice. All right, and that's leaving the echo in its place. Can I use an unleashed incarnation? Yeah. All right. And here Remember we go. We all rushed to go help Marlboro and Ilumio for no reason. Hey, there's another one there. Nah, that might be <laughs> uh, like 21 to hit. That'll hit. All right. And that's just going to be. How are you rolling one of those? Hold on. It's 11 plus. Oh, there we go. 11, 14, uh, 16 points of magical slashing damage and. Four points of lightning damage. Nice. And that's where I'll end my turn. Got it. 
All right. All right. The one there up top is turn to go. It's coming on down. Who's it coming to first? Okay. Unless it wants to attack a random civilian. Um, it actually is going to attack a random civilian. Okay, quick. random civilian. Oh yeah, that one. Whoop, uh, coming in, goes ahead and is just going to rip that in two. <laughs> And through the blood mist and spatter, blinds you for a moment as it continues to just rushes through with its large teeth onto Mars. Or a 23 to hit. Silver uh, barbs. That's a 29. So 23 to hit. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, I will uncannily dodge it. Okay. Uh, so it's large jaws will come in for 24 piercing. So have to 12 with uncanny dodge. You are grappled and restrained. And, uh, and, and Matt, is that within uh, Marlboro's me melee range? Yes, it is. Uh, no. no. Okay. It's 20 from you. And then... It's going to go ahead and grab your legs and attempt to tear them off uh, with 30 to hit. Okay. <laughs> and that is 20 bludgeoning damage as you just pull and you feel your bones straining and breaking, or at least cracking. Ow, 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 ow. Trying to wishbone you. Ow. Shiny, it's your turn. Uh, um, shiny is uh going to um cast banishment on the. Are they both the same size, or does is are they like pretty much different sizes like their minis are? Um, they're different sizes, but it doesn't look like one's less fierce or damaging than the other. Okay. I think it's more build and. He's just the runt of the litter. Why you gotta be <laughs> right. so cruel and call him out on it? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, shiny is going to uh, cast a uh, banishment on uh, the one right in um, right that was attacking Mars. Um, okay. So that is going to be a DC eighteen charisma. That's only a 15. And he's like, oh, bad puppy! <laughs> <laughs> and um, then he will... Oh, um, he will run... Ooh, he can't run anywhere with, he, without getting op, op attack, can he? No, he, you got space, look. Yeah. And you're rogue if you need to. You can disengage. All oh, right, yeah. So he's going to disengage. Yeah, there we go. I forgot about that. Uh, he's going to bonus action, disengage, and run uh, under, like, back towards that bridge, I guess. One on the back? Yeah. <sighs> and that's his turn. Mars. Uh, ow, okay, that thing's gone. My legs hurt. Um, I'm going to, oh, by the way, reminder for everyone except for Marlboro and Ilo Media, you have long strider on, so your uh, movement speed is another 10 feet. Awesome. Um, so I'm going to use my 45 feet of movement to get up on top of the bridge that thing kind of jumped down from. Um, when I stop, uh, I'm just gonna say, we're having such a nice dinner party, and, uh, this small, uh, shape begins to, like, appear in between my hands and, like, grow larger and flash different colors until it becomes, like, an actual dodecahedron, and I force my hand through and I cast Chaos Bolt at second level at the thing. Nice. nice. So... 
Yeah. Uh, plus two, 18 to hit. That hits. Damn, that was almost, almost really good. Um, but cool. Uh, six. Ooh, that. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so it is going to take. This is that one spell I need to calculate around this dude. Uh, it's gonna take. Hmm, yeah. It's gonna take 24 points of thunder damage. Because uh, I rolled a 6 and an 8 on the d8s. Uh, and I'm going with the thunder damage. Okay. It shrieks in pain, blood shoots out of its ears. And it cries. It seems to be vulnerable. Ooh! What? <laughs> I did a well, thing! You did a thing? I did a thing! Um, and just as a funny haha, I'm going to quicken spell a mind sliver at it with my bonus action. Alright. So that's an intelligence save. That is a two! <laughs> So he takes an extra, uh, an extra twelve points of psychic damage. Amazing. Then Nilumia. Okay. Um. Bonus action. With my new feet, I picked up. You're going to watch her feet start burning like the breath of a, fly, a dragon, but it's going to be the essence of Karakas Black Breath as I cast Ashardland Stride on myself oh at 5th level. Now I have a 70 foot movement speed and I go flying over to the Dragalot and make an attack with Booming Blade. So... Nice. That's going to be a 22 to hit. That hits. So that will be 11 piercing. Nine radiant. Yeah. 11 thunder damage. That's 22. And How do you want to kill oh, it? Hold on. And I have... <laughs> 13 fire damage. Okay, I want to kill it, my friend. Then let me literally just you see her like zoom over there with this black fire underneath of her in this Tasha's guise and just stab the thing in the back of the head as this blast of thunder lets out and it burns. <sighs> Amazing. And then I will zoom around with the rest of my movement to kind of be in the air above where the other one will return. Uh, stick, get off to the side of it. I'm gonna stick a boom beam right there. Stand off to the side of it. Yes, <laughs> that'll be my turn. All right. Oh, a little concentration now. Then Dolus, it'll be your turn. Walking in. Uh, well, actually, I'm flying in. I'm still in my pixie form as I yeah. got through all that stuff. Um. So I'm super small. I'm looking at everybody like, oh, shit, you guys did a really good job. Uh, There's still one left. Do you need me for that? I don't think you guys need me for that. <laughs> um, I think Dolus is going to spend this turn to kind of just um, fly forward and I guess just see where these things came from. <laughs> just like, I don't know, just if there's any like obvious holes in the wall, or there's like other people who are not of the um, uh, dynasty here just doing shit yeah give me a perception check and then okay what's your speed my speed right now thanks to long striders 40 so i guess you can put me around 40 feet somewhere perception wow okay um i'll use inspiration because why not wow that's pretty crap that's 10 Okay. Um, with a 10, uh, you look, Sir Harto, you can see that you would sort of see tracks, but it looks like because 
These things are on the floor and ceilings and walls. You get a general direction of where they came from, but as far as exactly, you have really no idea. Huh. Just kind of yelled down. Uh, I, I don't know where these things came from, but... Uh, just kill it when it comes back, and he's just going to stand right there. Oh, fly right there. That'll be my turn. And hope. Um, I will go. Uh, I guess kind of. I'll I'll move to where I guess, between shiny and the uh uh shadow thingy is Marlboro's person is. And um, I'm going to put the moonbeam right where the guy disappeared. Nice. And then I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to drop a heal on Nilumia for 80. Cool. So Nilumia gets 80 hit points back. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see if I have anything of uh, any bonus actions down here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Was it a bonus to yep. move Moonbeam? No. I could just move it. All right, that's it. Then it's Mario's turn. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll I'll ba bait and switch with. Uh, is that Mars? Uh, I think that's the guard captain next to us. Or who? Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't say whoever that's about ten feet away from me. That's the captain of the guard. I'll bait and switch with him. <laughs> Buddy move. That's all yeah. that's to emasculate the master spy. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Barbara is after it. Or all, right, right. all right. I had three to my armor class, and then I'll move the echo up, and then I'll kind of move forward uh, right where the right towards the moonbeam, and I'll move the echo up to kind of get in, you know. Yes, I, I, I want him in between uh, to the to the left of Marlboro and whoever that is with the white hair. Is that yeah, Hope? Hope. Hope. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right, right there. So, oh, all right, and then I'll hold my hold my attack for when it comes. You got it. Um, <clears throat> and shiny. <laughs> shiny, see everybody getting in position, and he knows what's coming. He's like. Either you drop it now or we wait a minute and we still do it, Shiny. Well, or you I can mean, wait another six seconds and we can all be ready. <laughs> wait, well, what, how, maybe maybe it just, it, it doesn't, maybe it's not doing it on purpose. It, is it some kind of like werewolf oh, or something? And it just, that's, Shiny, did you just see the drow ripped in two? Oh, his body's right yeah. next to me. Okay, it? okay, Shiny. Yeah. Here's the thing if it really is a werewolf, We'll know when he gets into the moonbeam because if if he fails his con save and he has disadvantage, then okay, he'll change back. Yeah, hearing hope and then and then seeing the half split open uh, her drow behind him, he will put his face into the wall to hide his eyes and then <laughs> use his hand to do, to do the magical wave and get and and uh, release banishment. Okay. Um, so it's there. Uh, real quick, who's within melee of it? Barbara. All right. And the echo. So let me uh, do this on Marlboro because it was holding its action from the banishment. Yep. 
Of course it was. How you gotta be so mean? It's just... Uh, so for Marlboro, that is a twenty-one to hit. Nope. All right. So the bite misses. Then it goes to try to slam you to the ground with a twenty-five. Yeah, that'll that'll uh, hit. Right. Silvery barbs. Twenty-three instead. That's the that's the that's the armor class right now. Okay. Uh, I'll throw I'll throw my barbs on there. <laughs> Just as a big middle. Well, that's a natural is. twenty, so it's still oh. trying to do that. <laughs> and that's a uh, my goodness, what's the slam damage Wait, on that? Did the captain do anything? Twenty-two bludgeoning, half to eleven for you. And then the last to hit here is a thirty. Now I've and... got a question. It's would it starts its turn there or enters the spells area for the first time uh yeah we can do that um okay. so to do 27 so now it needs a con save uh yes and then if it's a, if it's a shape changer it's a disadvantage uh, that's a 19 on the con save ah oh, that's one up um did it uh mind sliver was hit uh, was that hit by mind sliver or no oh oh yeah uh no that was a different one different one okay that's carry on yeah, that's one more than it needed. <sighs> than I okay. need, yeah. But it still takes a 60 10 radiant damage. Oh, shit. <sighs> Six. Ten. Uh, Twenty. <laughs> Thirty. 38 halved. So 19, 19 yeah. radiant. Yeah. All right. 19 radiant. Very good. That, that, that last one hit, Matt. That third hit hit me. Oh, sorry. So that would have been a 27 damage halved to uh, 13. 13. Got it. Okay. Now we've got the held attacks. Go ahead. Shiny hears the ceiling uh, of the moonbeam and goes, is it done yet? The 15 <laughs> plus, plus whatever on board. On the board. Uh, I think we're up to three. Yeah, that'll hit. 18. I can't find my stupid box. Uh, re-roll one of those. So Marvel, you can have my advantage from Silvery Barbs on your next stack. Okay, 13, 15, uh, 15 points of magical slashing damage plus uh, one point of lightning damage. See? You mocked me! <laughs> That's one point. Still, It's still a point. I know, but I was like, you rolled really good, and you were like, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> and that, that's, that's my held action. All right. Was there anybody else? I don't Did think nobody so. else? No, uh, no, it didn't no. get to everyone else's turn. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. So we go to Mars. Cool. Oh, see, you should have let Shiny talk <laughs> an extra round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mars, take my uh, take an advantage from my silvery barbs before. Oh, I already have it. Oh, because I cast silvery barbs. But you oh, can okay, take cool. mine. Uh, okay, right. you know what? No, you, Hope you, gets you, it. You, oh, yeah, <laughs> that works. Okay, yeah, that okay, works. I'll keep mine. Uh, so, uh, seemed to work last time. Another chaos bolt at second level. Uh, at this new dude. The dude who. I'm gonna use my slippery barbs today. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, yeah, double nat 19s. So, um, plus 13. Uh, 32 to hit. Definitely hits. <laughs> So... Oh, fuck, yeah, I rolled thunder damage again. Uh, okay, so... 11 plus... Uh, 19 more points of thunder damage. Nice. That would be 38. <laughs> Boom. Uh, and yeah, I'll just quicken another... Mind sliver at this one. Got it. So, can't save. 
That is a natural 16 minus 4 for 12. <laughs> He's going to take the same damage as last time, 12 points of psychic damage. And the next saving throw he makes, subtract 1d4. Okay. Bloodied. <laughs> <clears throat> Running from deeper in the caves, another of these creatures. I knew it. I knew jumping, it. landing next to Mars. Damn it. <laughs> Mars, there's a thing over there. <laughs> I see it. Uh, oh, that is a that's low. 23 to hit. <laughs> that's low. Uh, yeah. hang on, hang on. Am I within, uh, god damn, am I within, uh, 60 feet of that? Let's find out. I'm not sure on that one. I, I am pretty far from my brother. Yes, you are. Brother, no. Brother man. Brother man. No, you are just 60. Brother man. Silvery barbs. <laughs> this is all I can do this fight. <laughs> oh, that's a 29, so it's higher. Until you run out of silvery barbs. Okay. I can upcast, right? And uh, you can spend other slots. Yeah. All right. That is going to be a total of 45 bludgeoning damage. Uh, okay. <laughs> and I need a strength saving throw. Oh, come on. <laughs> take advantage. Take advantage. <laughs> All inspiration. Okay, I'm yeah. That, um, minus two, it's 17. 17. Boo! You're pushed 20 feet away into the back. Whew, slamming you against a wall. Go ahead. Landing, you're taking additional seven bludgeoning damage. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yep, you are knocked prone. Oh, yeah. As then it just uses, it lets itself fall down. Brr, right on top. Dinner. <laughs> um, so it's movement. And <laughs> da, 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 da. it's going to take advantage as it goes for its bite. Oh, no. Uh, 23 to hit. Yeah. Uh, that is 24 piercing damage as you're grappled and restrained. And now it starts to piece you off, getting a, trying to get a good meal here as it tries to pull you apart with its last attack for 24 to hit. Okay. I will uncannily dodge this. Okay. That is 26 then. Have the 13. Cool. Ow. I'm looking messed up. Okay, okay, okay. But, you know, none of you can see it. Hey, Lumia. Okay, um... So how far am I from the first one, and how far am I from the second one? Um... Let me kind of get... Because I'm to... technically above the first one, so... Yeah, you are... Right, here she comes. Monsters. I just need to see if I can do this. I want to be able to, with my 70 feet. From the first one. Okay. Forty from the second. Okay. So that's 60 feet altogether. So I am going to zoom next to the one by Mars, with 40 feet. Passing by it, not provoking an attack of opportunity with a shuttle and stride, it will take 3d6 fire damage automatically because I passed by it. Um, so that will be 2, 4, 8 fire damage. Nice. And then I will zoom to the other one and flank with Marlboro real quick and stab it in the back. With Booming Blade again. An advantage. So that's going to be a natural 20. 
Woo! Oh so man. Here comes all the damage. Okay. Oh, and it's thunder damage too. <laughs> there is a lot of damage on this. So 18 is the piercing damage. Actually, 20 piercing damage. Then deep radiant damage for 13 radiant damage. And nice. then thunder damage is 27 thunder damage. Nice. So that and is 54. The shard on the stride, I don't think it's critted because it's just on max damage, right? Right. Yeah. So that's an extra 10 fire damage. How do you want to kill it? Nice. So you see, I'm losing me. Zoom from where she is. Zoom by Mars and go, oh crap, you're hurt. I'll let them know. And then zoom away and then come behind this other creature and again, just do like she did before and stab it in the back of the head. And go right through as she appears right in front of Marble and goes, Hey guys, Mars is getting really beat up over there. <laughs> that's my turn. I love it. I want a sound clip of the sound that Mars just made. <laughs> it, you were muted, Aiden. We had no idea what that sounded like. Whatever noise did I know, but Ross's mic can pick me up. That's oh. true. <laughs> Basement. Dolus. Hearing that, um, 40 feet. Towards Mars, with my uh, with the fly speed. Uh, am I within thirty? Am I within thirty feet of that creature? Yes. All right, cool. Um, uh, and that's the one that uh, was mind slivered. So there's a subtract a D4 from a Wisdom saving throw. No, that was the other one. That's the one that just died. Oh, yeah. God damn. Yeah. All right, still Wisdom saving. This one just came at me. Sorry. Actually, like, actually, command is 60 feet. It doesn't matter. So, with the uh, command, please. DC 18 wisdom. Uh, 20. Shit. <laughs> uh, there goes all my actions. Uh, yeah, that's that's uh. Screw it. Uh. Bonus action, Shadow Blade. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not done concentrating off of evasiveness for hope, and I'm going to. Is it an... so, Let me look at this. So yeah, I want to take a Shadow Blade out and throw it at this thing, at least for. I think it's the way. It's my spell attack to hit, so let's try that. Oops. Uh, 22 plus the 2, 24 to hit. 24 hits. Okay. I want to do this at 4th level, so that's going to be 4... It's going to be 3d8. Uh, psychic damage at it. Nice. Are we under dim light? Oh yeah. Uh, that technically had advantage, which I did I did by accident already, so it's still the same. So it's going to be. I just lost it. Uh, fourteen psychic damage. Good. That'll be my turn. All right. Hope it is your turn. Okay, so I don't have the twenty AC anymore. That's true. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, can I move the moonbeam sixty feet and be inside the hallway or cave or whatever that this thing came out of? Um, I need a perception check to see if you can see where it's coming from. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and bonus action step of night to get up there to, so I can get uh, sight on stuff. You got it. Perception check. Oh, I went right past that. Yeah, ball sacks. Uh, 23. Oh, no. No. Hold on. 
Uh, yeah, 23. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Deep within, uh, you see... It's not so much as, as like a cave. It is like other, where there's other houses. Mm-hmm. But there is a... What looks like several pieces of people that have been blown apart huh. and over them is what looks like a tear like in a piece of paper and on the others and it's as if like what should be there what you look past in reality uh is like waving like paper and in this whole space there is this darkened heated place where you see um sets upon sets upon sets upon sets of seven eyes that glow that are getting closer running towards this oh, opening. shit! <laughs> you, oh god. I, feel, I will... Uh, oh, god. <laughs> <laughs> Not good! Um, shit, 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 shit. What do I have? What do I have? Uh, can I... Can, can... I need to spell magic? Uh, just, I do not have dispel magic because I, I can do it on my turn. I can do it on my turn. Just get out of there. Um. Okay. Uh. Can I put the moonbeam right in front of it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put my moonbeam right in front of it, and that guy's still alive. Correct. Yep. Yep. And, but I already used my action to do the perception check, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Okay. You have movement. Uh, uh, I'm not going any closer. I have a armor class of 14 right now. Not happening. Yeah, she's as squishy as you, Dolan. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to kind of keep my distance and be like, You're doing great, Mars! <laughs> <laughs> Marlboro. Can I get to can I get to Mars with the echo? Sure, the echo how far? Thirty feet. Yeah. All right. The echo will slide up there, and I'll he'll do what he does, and he'll do it with all the stuff. Mm. Uh, I don't know. What is it? 21, 16 to hit? Uh, 16 is going to miss. All right. He'll take an he'll, the echo. will take another. I don't know what it is plus, Matt, right now. I think plus four. Plus four. That'd be 20 to hit. No, no. I, I, I added the plus four. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be a miss. Ooh. Oh, no. The echo is failing. It's too comfortable being home. <laughs> he'll, take his, he'll take his third swing. And that'll hit. That's a 28, 32, minus 5, 27. That hits. Uh, 16, 18, 28 points of magical slashing damage with six points of lightning damage. Thank you very much. Uh, My hero. <laughs> <laughs> unleashed, uh, he'll go unleashed incarnation and oh, mark it and go again uh yeah that's gonna hit that's 33 28 to hit nice and that'll be oh I get to re-roll both of those how about that That's a little better. Uh, 15, 25 points of magical slashing damage and six more points of lightning damage. There you go. <laughs> Action surge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dead. Uh, My favorite two words. Right, no, that's, that one's going to miss. That's going to be a miss. I jumped in. Sorry. He's going for a second swing. Him. Sharpie. Uh, 22, 26, 21 to hit. That'll hit. All right. And that'll be, 
And I reroll one of those. That's a 13 plus. 13 plus 6 is night 21. 31 points of magical slashing damage and 3 points of lightning damage. Uh, he go go with his third and attack. And that's going to be a 30 something to hit. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's going to be 16, 18, 28 points of magical slashing damage and five points of lightning damage. I don't want to kill it. Ah, just the, just the echoes just up there, just carving and finding places. There's, there's parts of it that's really tough that the blade kind of doesn't get any purchase. And then some of the hits you can see are getting the, it sinking the blade deep. And then finally he just kind of twists around and just lops it head, head off. Nice. Kick it to the side of Mars. <laughs> the jaws release. <laughs> and then uh, he, and the, I just want to just want to make sure the echoes on the side of Mars uh in between Mars and the uh whatever that rip is. It is. Okay. okay. I assume then, that's right. Yeah, and Marlboro will, will, will move up into the uh the whatever that door what the opening is there uh where the uh, cross crosswalk is yeah oh. awesome and That'll shiny shiny is your turn uh shiny will run like oh crap and then run over to mars um and offer his hand to help him up and help him up and while helping him up he will um uh, pump a cure wounds into him uh, at fifth level, or um, let's see what we got here. Uh, Twenty points, and uh, th thanks, but oh, everything, everything hurts. Everything hurts. Yeah, you gotta like swat it like a teddy bear. Like that was that thing just like hit you like you were nothing. Yeah, not the fun kind of flying. Oh man. Um, and um, that'll be his turn. All right. And then Mars. Uh, I'm gonna limp over like onto no. Like away from where I was, just was, lots of bad memories right there. Um, I'm gonna look to, I'm gonna look at the rift, like the rift, and I'm gonna look at my Lumia and Dolus. Like, rip, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll. Who's, I'll give Nylumia the help action if she's gonna dispel it. Or try to dispel it. If you're gonna try to dispel it, let me know so I can drop concentration on Moonbeam so you don't dispel Moonbeam on accident. <laughs> I'll, I'll just give Nilumia the health action on, on dispelling. I'll just be like, it's over there. there you see, see, there, I, I target there. Okay. So what are you trying? You're, you're 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 doing the spell magic. Uh, I'm giving Nilumia the help action. before she does it. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, so what does it look like you're doing when you're doing that? Uh, just helping. I'm just kind of like pointing where it is. Like, see that? That's coming out of there. If you can do anything about that. Um, uh, I think for um, this end, we're gonna actually have you do the do an Arcana check to see if you can help with this. Ooh, I have an inspiration. Uh, Arcana check is going to be 17. Okay. I think uh, looking in below you see that there are um, among the corpses here there is a human and they have, and the rest are drow, 
uh, and almost like dropped and shooting about them, uh, you see several uh, what looks like um, <clears throat> orange stones that are inscribed, like almost like they would be stabilizers for a porter. And so you really get that this isn't the most stable of of uh, portal right now. Um, and I think, yeah, that's how you give that help action. Is you able to call that out? Then I let me at your turn. All right. I will try to dispel magic. I will drop concentration on moonbeam. <laughs> so do I have the help action on this? You do. All right. Dirty 20. Oh, nice. All right, you push hard with your dispel. And as you concentrate, you... The pieces of it are attempting to close. Uh, This initial magic, uh, whatever it was, uh, healing... You start to get that it's not entirely magical in the sense that there's magic making it happen. But that there's a weak spot where magic has made it uh, to the point where something was able to break through. And so you... It's it's, it's somewhat smaller as, as, as everything's beginning to... Uh, close a little bit and you're holding it and there's like almost this temporary barrier that is getting set up like a transparent version of what the scene should be uh, past this Uh, even though creatures are running towards it that you're attempting to uh, do anything else you're doing she is going to look to Azak and be like or not Azak uh, Dolus, and be like, Dolus, I think I need your help in this. Okay. Right. So the way this actually is going to work, you're, you've been able to do this, and as long as you're concentrating, as if concentrating on a spell, you can keep this, and it is going to be essentially a 20 strength check for a creature to break through this barrier. Now let me just go drop concentration on all the other spells then. Okay. So she, you will watch the her wings turn back to fairy wings. The fire goes away from her feet as she just holds this. You got it. As a creature slams into the barrier for a 26. Oh, <sighs> kind of gets stuck for a moment, but pushes itself I'm going through. to make it reroll. Okay. A 26. <laughs> the exact yeah. same roll. Is it? But it did have to use its action to get through instead of being able to just run up and slice and dice. Uh, but you see, there's others coming. Dolus. Uh, oh, let's change some plans. Because uh, Hope is right smack in the, uh, next to that thing, I'm assuming. Or how, how far is it from Hope? Where to come in at? Uh, well, it came in through that portal where they are in the back. Okay, okay. It's so. actually by, right in between uh, Marlboro and Izako. The smaller one there. Okay, so it's, I thought, I, I didn't know where the placement was. It could have gone up, it could have gone down. It went down. Cool. That's, the, that's right where we want it. Alright, then I'll, uh, I'll stand next to Nilumia, get out of the pixie form. Um. Oh, God. Okay, that's where that is where we want him. So, I, would another would would a dispel magic from me help out at all, or is it like stacking a dispel on top of my Lumina's dispel? You might want to hit the stones. It, I imagine, like in the help action, I described the person down there. Right. Hmm. Okay, then I think um, I won't mess around here. I'll do a fourth level magic missile on the... Oh, no, no. Dispel magic on the uh, stones there. 
Okay. Um. Yeah. So give me. Uh, so you see the stones? They're pointing out to you. Give me another Arcana check. Okay. 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 I'm good at those. <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. So seeing this whole thing here, you don't think the st the stones were never activated to stabilize this portal. Um, the, looking through it, these could be hidden anywhere within like a thousand feet. And as long as one was active, the portal would be immune to being dispelled. The portal would, 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 would stay open. And it, what seems to have happened here is that there was a large... like. And you look at there's also bits of a strange metal uh and what looks like black into diamond dust that's been expended which gives you an impression that like there's an accident that happened here that caused this it probably wasn't planned and so this is like pl uh, planar damage in this spot right here Okay. So the detect measure, this magical thing seems to have essentially like undone some of the tearing, but it's still thin and needs to be repaired. Huh. Okay. And back to my original question, I would I think dispel magic on top of my Lumia's health at all, or is that... You don't think so. You think that bit that is being happened if you wanted to increase the i guess dc of something being able to push through you could but it would you'd need to stay at it like it wouldn't be a fix gotcha but but it could it could help for now if you wanted to do that mm. yeah i don't see any uh i don't know what else to do with it other than just hop out nilumia here so i will i'm not concentrating on it i'll uh, lose concentration on Shadow Blade, and I will uh, dispel magic. Okay. Matt, that was a good question. Um, Shiny brought up in chat. Would the staff of Cassine work on this portal? It's a good question. Okay, I'll try it now. Okay. Just wondering. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you need anything? Uh, need me to do anything else other than casting? I need. I need, I need your roll. Gotcha. Well, uh, here we go. That's only a fourteen. Okay. Uh, with that, you're not able to add. God. To the strength, there, unfortunately. All right. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. That's it for me. What's the guard captain doing, by the way? Uh, he's been helping everybody get to safety. Awesome. Right. Go, 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 go. Um, and I think, like, he's taking up defensive positions just to, like, keep, like, the stray bone and rock and knocking them out, trying to do the evacuation uh, while you're doing this. He saw the portal and he's just realized this could be a much bigger problem. He's got to get people out of here. Mm -hmm. Or it'll just be more and more death. So as he's letting all you take care of this. Once he realized it wasn't like, oh, there's just two things to kill. Like, we've got a bigger issue here. Uh, Hope. Fuck. Um... Yeah, I'm going... How far away is Mars from me? How far away I'm hoping Mars? I think I'm like 10 feet from you. He's right below you. He's yeah, right, right below? Oh. Then he got down below. Okay. Get away. So, five, 10, 15, 20. 20? Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a fifth level life transference on Mars. Well, oh. Nice. Uh, 68. Uh, there 
four, five. There's eight. So I take eight. 10, 26, and I take 26 necrotic, and you take uh, 52 hit points back. Oh, whoa. Thank you very much. Yep, 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 and, um... Hold on, let me look at something real quick. B. I'm checking on everybody, seeing how their hit points are. Uh, everybody looks pretty good, it looks like. Yep. Okay, so, um, and then I'm going to ca uh, do a bonus action. Um, where is it? Uh, Shield of Faith. I'll just give myself the extra two, just in case. Because <laughs> of my new feet, I could do a, two spells. Yes, Spell Driver. Hi, <laughs> uh, Spell Driver. All right. <laughs> yeah, so um, oh, I good. will do that. Shield of Faith on myself. And um, I've still got Step of Night up, so I'm going to back up. Okay. Oh, backs on up, Marlboro. Can uh, the Echo and myself get up into the right into the heart of the portal thing where the creature is? Yeah, the creature that just came through. Yeah, you got it. Close in and close in. Back away. And um, I'll just do what I do. All the stuff. Reckless. Uh, 27, that's 5, 32, 27 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, I'm going to reroll one of those. Hang on just a second. That's a 10. That's a 14, 16, 26 points of magical slashing damage and 4 points of lightning damage. Nice. Second attack is oh, it's almost a natural 20, 20, 30, 25 to hit. 26 to hit, excuse me. Uh, 29 points of magical slashing damage and uh, one, one point of lightning damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Third, 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 third attack, attack. slice and <laughs> uh, 36, 31 to hit. It's gonna hit. And, uh, whoops, wrong dice. Hold on, and a bet. Pre premature dice isolation. Um, that's gonna be uh, let me reroll one of those. That's gonna be a 12. And so that's a 16, 18, 28 points of magical slashing damage and six points of lightning damage. Nice. Um, I'll do <laughs> Unleashed Incarnation with a natural 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's see. I got to reroll one of those. So that's a 22 plus. 23, 25, 35 points of magical slashing damage and uh, 11 points of lightning damage. There we go. And that's it. We'll hold, we'll hold right there. You got it. It's bloodied, but not dead. Shiny. Um, okay. A couple things running through Shiny's head. How big is the portal? About 15 feet. Does it count as an object? Oh. Um, what Shining wants to do, he his first thought is, can he put, can he put his, his uh, resilient sphere around the, like basically plugging it with the resilient sphere. Nice. Gotcha. Um. 
viewing sphere is how big? It it can it can be in cover encapsulate the size of a large creature. Okay, so fifteen Four feet would objects. be bigger than large. That would be bigger than large. Yeah, that would be uh, huge. Okay, what if he puts it? Okay, well then, um, all right. Then he's going to tell you what. Then he is going to. Um, you wanted to use it as a cork, right? Yeah. But so, kind of riffing off of that, then he will then be like, "Oh, oh, sorry." Another question too. Did, did it seem like these creatures were shape changers? Were they reacting or resisting to the moonbeam quality of? Them? Uh, they no, they do not seem to be shape changers. Okay. Uh, then he will he will resilient spear um, the one the one that's they're, they're fighting right now. So deck save eighteen. Um, this one is too big to resilient sphere. Oh. The creature is bigger than large, huh? Correct. Damn. Okay, well then, trying that, and it's not working. The the, the thing is, you, you, he's going, okay, uh, never mind. Uh, then, emboldening bond, everybody but me. And, um, <laughs> he will extend his emboldening bond, and then bonus action, he will, um, Place his evil eye upon the creature, so it needs to make a DC 15 charisma check to save. Got it. 15. Damn it. Damn. All right. Mars. Uh, so Marlboro is like fully engaged with this thing right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you said there's still uh. Like a mage type person, like beneath the portal, mm. or just someone beneath there. What? There's no. I, I might have heard that. Oh, okay, there's I heard that wrong. Human. I heard like there's a dude with like oh, there's a human. There's a human. There's a, human. There's a deceased human. human that, deceased human. Okay. Yes. Didn't hear that part. Okay. Cool. So then, bonus action, clicking them boots of haste, um, and whacking this dude. Uh, with a psychic blade. Uh, am I able to get flanking with Marlboro, or is the Echo in flanking? Echo's in that space. Echo's taking the flanking spot. But okay. it's engaged, so it's you... Engaged, so... Yeah. Uh, it's engaged, so... Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I And we're at probably like plus five now? I think. Uh, so... 21 to hit on the first whack. Nice. So, that's going to be 8 plus sneak attack. Ooh, not, not, not great. Uh, 25 points of psychic damage. Nice. And then hasted attack. So it's still going to be 6 damage. Is. Uh, yeah, definitely going to hit with a natural 16. So he'll take another seven points of psychic damage. Nice. How do you want to kill it? Ooh. Um, I am. I click the boots, and uh, instead of like conjuring a playing card this time, I'm conjuring like actual like psychic daggers, and I first cut, uh, drive up the side, like scraping the brain. Uh, nice. from the sneak attack, and then with the second card, I'm just like cramming it, like in like the bridge of the nose into the brain, and his brain just and that was perfect. Nilumia, I don't know if this will work. I point the staff and start charging it and go, Hey guys, help me! Oh, yeah, <laughs> staff. <laughs> um. Which means the bear is going to go down because you got to concentrate on that staff. I have dual focused. There you go. All right. Then... I'll roll my concentration check every round. Yep. Uh, it's going to attempt. To... So there's another one is attempting to break through. Uh, does that make the con say? I forget what the, we said the con say. Yes, the con was. Yeah, it does. Level. It All goes right. by round level, 10 plus round level. Or 
perfect. Um, that only got a 14. So this next huge monstrosity just goo and beats up against this barrier that Nylumia is maintaining. And... Derek! Hello, You're hello. Just in time. All right. Uh, we're going to do Dolus, and then we'll do Derek. Right now, there's a hellish portal. Things are pouring through. Nylumia made a temporary barrier and is charging her staff, uh, which people can use their actions to help charge it in order to fire a beam and close the portal. Yeah, like last time. Dolus, it is your turn. Uh, Yeah, I hear that. I, I see the staff pull out, and I know what the plan is now. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take a hand on the staff and help. Uh, charge this thing up. Okay. You got it. Derek, it is your turn. Okay, yeah, I, I will do the same. Uh, bonus action, Bardic Inspiration to, I guess, Nylumia, then? Sounds good. Oh! Um... Seeing what's happening, she'll fly back over there, right next to... Actually, she'll stay behind Nilumia and hold onto her shoulders and concentrate on hold on the charge. And she dro that means she will be dropping Shield of Faith. Gotcha. Barbaro. Um, Marlboro will move back to get into position around the people with the staff and but i'll leave the echo right in the face of that portal <laughs> anything that comes through has got to hit him so shiny um yep uh shiny will just uh can he get up to them with 30 feet? Technically 40, because you have long strider on. Well, is it unless he's trying to do uh, the face step stuff? Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I think so. We'll say yeah. Go ahead. Uh, then he will just he will just get over there, scramble over there, and um, uh, use his action to help charge the staff. Got it. On Mars. <laughs> <laughs> um, in just a blink of an eye, because haste is up and ninety feet of movement, Mars is there concentrating uh, on the staff. Um, which also, uh, since the haste is through the boots, I don't think it requires my concentration. So, still hasted, concentrating on the staff. Uh, then we're back to Lumia's turn. Everyone roll five d ten. Now then, we're gonna have everyone else roll the damage. So. <laughs> there we go. Don't make shiny roll damage. That's just cruel. It's a portal. <laughs> <laughs> are, are we each rolling five? Yes, each of you. Oh. Everyone but her. Twenty-eight. Thirty. Oh, five d ten. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh, 23. 21. Nice. 30. Marlboro? Do I roll them too? Yes. Yeah, you got in there. Oh, okay. Sweet. And Derek, I'm not too. used to doing Derek the magic stuff. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, Derek got 20. Uh, 32. Nice. Pretty sure that's like 130 damage. 164 is what I got. Oh, okay, perfect. And, and <laughs> it blasts like a bolt of um, kind of there's a central beam uh, coming out from Nightlumia and then different color streams flows around it. Boom. Hitting it as it was concentrating on the barrier as well, and 
slowly the scene fades and fades and just as the beam uh, is ready to go it just moves to a total scene of the Undershire. Uh, uh, Derek, how many people can you make forget? You need to make everybody here forget the base all the staff. Do that. Uh, I mean, how much I, time we got? <laughs> I think they know that Nilumia has the staff. Well, how do they know? Because Amnon, told, Amnon's the one who told us about it. Yeah. You guys do forget, I'm in these high mage robes. I do kind of work for the queen. Yeah. I'm okay you're to allow to carry you. around stuff like this. And now you guys are too, since you're all cool with her, I suppose. I'm to a point. As long as you don't, like, disclose the information to any other kingdoms, or else you'll have your head. But hey. I just don't know enough about this, and all that information that you guys tell me will probably just leak out my ears. So, it's fine. <laughs> and look around to see if there's any people we can help. Um, uh, there are... Yeah, there are people. Some are trapped under homes that were just sliced and destroyed. Uh, they had um, they had run amok before you got down here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pick up one of the one of the stones that uh, we pointed out from uh, this little circle. I'm gonna do my Mystic Conflux identify on it. I'll go it and I'll go around. And uh, do some healing, mass healing words. I've got three, six, seven. I have eight <laughs> spell slots I can use for mass healing word. Okay. To help um, as many people as possible. Anybody who can can join. There's the um, last bit of the Aurora watch here as you hear some movement and screams, there seems to be more creatures. They want to clear them out. Um, but more of a hunting mission at this point. You want, there's a, as they kind of move as well as the guard captains here are coming up to all of you too, but anything immediately everybody wants to do besides that. Uh, I want to join Mars and uh, I'm just thinking real quick. Looking at this uh, this human here, uh, I'm jumping to conclusions, but I'm looking at Mars and I'm saying, "Clerics can speak with dead, right?" I don't know. Like, we're, we've seen people do some crazy shit, right? Yeah. Well, if you ask the clerics, maybe you could find out. Yeah. Well, let's bring don't this thing. The sorcerer. Uh, help me move this thing then. I have the strength of seven. That's oh, fine. I'll start dragging this uh, uh, this body towards uh, either Johnny or Hope. Uh, Hope will see Dolis struggling and go over and throw this person over her shoulder. Where do you want this guy? Uh, anywhere where we can get a moment to hear him talk. I can't do that until tomorrow. That's fine. Let's we'll just keep an eye on the body until then. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, Shiny's going to um, uh, punch uh, Mars on the shoulder and give him another 30 hit points. Okay. Oh, I was just trying to see if I can make you fly, too. <laughs> I think you'd be better off than doing that in different ways, but thank you very much. Oh, boy. <laughs> are, are, are you doing okay? Yeah, everything's great. That was weird. You, can, anybody know what kind of creatures these are? I didn't get a good look at it, but that was certainly something abyssal. But uh, yeah, yeah I, I can show you a check. bite mark. I'll ever give Dolus advantage. Uh, I haven't been rolling right, so you, you, uh, I can help you. <laughs> uh, Matt, you're muted. Right, Matt, Matt, you're muted. So, I'm, I'm, I'm with the body, so I don't know if I know that. Excuse me, thinking people talking over me. Um, okay, so let's get everybody doing something in, in this scene.
Uh, so, so we're just not doubling up. Um, so let me go through. Um, Mars is attempting to identify. Okay. Um, then what is uh, Hope doing? Um, after moving that body, she is going to go around trying to... Uh, she can either use her heal mass healing word or she can like help with bandaging and getting them back together doing medicine and stuff like that okay yeah definitely your healing is helping so i'll give you medicine with advantage okay uh it's just a little a large a few around five to six hundred injured okay yeah that's a like big that issue down here yeah um 24 okay yeah I think yeah we're gonna do so i had my casualty die here yeah i'm gonna say with the 24 it's a this is gonna be 2d20 casualties minus a d12 for your help okay uh, we'll see what everybody else does. So we'll see if we add any other dice to that before I roll it. That makes um, sense. Uh, Mabra? Uh, I'll help, however, either helping with the, um, trying to get people out from under rubble, or I can go with and try to help the Aurora Watch chase down whatever else they're trying to clear out. Yeah. Which one do you want to do? Um... I'll go. I'll, I'll go and help help the Aurora Watch. Okay. If I'm saying that right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see here. With that, I guess just give me an attack roll that will represent your help. Nineteen. Okay. Very good then. <clears throat> that is going to be a D10 because you're uh, taking way more threats. So I'm going to add to that. And then what is Naomi doing? Naomi is going to try to figure out how this portal appeared here and okay. how it got here in the dynasty. Okay. Because she knows there's wards around here, so she wants to try to figure out Um, yeah, what type of, because did you said history at some point, or no? Well, that was at first, but after thinking about it, this is what she's going to do. Okay, um, yeah, so, so you'll be doing an arcana check, so go ahead, roll it, then I'll just come back to you to get what you're okay. doing, and then, what do you what Mars is doing, and then, Joey? Um... Shiny will, Shiny will um, go about and just help heal people, um, patch them up with, um, you know, I don't know, just patch them up with bandages and stuff. Yeah, give me a medicine check with advantage. Oh, sorry, if you're not doing healing, that would just be regular. If you're not expending health sl spell slots, it wouldn't be with advantage. Uh, 23. 23, okay. Some more dice here. Very good. And Dolus. Uh, I'm thinking... Uh, I had the idea of asking Hope to speak with Dead on this body, but we can only we can't do that until tomorrow, so... I think what Dolus is going to do is that once he gets a feels like it's safe to do so, he'll spend his seventh level to teleport the body to Jor House. Okay, that makes sense. And then Derek. Hmm. What are we? What are we doing? <laughs> uh, basically, this portal has just been closed in this underground area where there was people living. 
And so it's just, you can, some people are investigating the scene, others are helping people. Hmm. I guess I would investigate. All right. So right now we've got some identifying uh, these strange stones that were left behind. We also know there's like shrapnel from something that exploded that probably caused the issue. Um, and right now Nylumia is trying to understand the nature of everything. What do you think you'd be more interested in? Mm. Is there perhaps someone out there that we could talk to that might be able to help out? Yeah, you could try to get a witness statement. Um, I was thinking more like someone we know that might like know what what is going on. Um, that's up to you. I mean, who do you think you'd reach out to? Hmm. You're thinking of like ascending. Yeah. Does the does the party have any any clue? This is kind of like a this is kind of like a random uh, event, so I don't know that anybody you would know. Yeah, this just spontaneously happened. Um, as far as we're aware, anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Can I cast Demand and ask Lady Vexala to come help? <laughs> no, that, that was like half kidding. Um, I think I would see... Uh, I guess, yeah, maybe if there's like a witness or something. Like just someone that might have witnessed what was going on. Got it. Uh, do persuasion or investigation? It's up to you. Okay, I got a 21. So real quick, we'll figure out the casualties. Uh, actually, so uh, Matt, before we do that, so I just want to, I think instead Shiny would be following around behind, behind Hope, and anybody she can't heal who dies, he would cast Revivify on. Okay. So was this more like we were all chilling and then all of a sudden this portal opened and we were just like, what? So Basically. you were at a dinner with the Bright Queen and there was an alarm that raged throughout the city and uh, all of you basically tried to help in any way you could. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay. Then in that case, um, can I instead do something else? Can I use my tooth and just like sort of just cast detect magic everywhere to see if there's like traces of something that might be lingering my, my character would be reasoning that um you know this one just happened like someone someone must have like had some like spicy high level magic and that resi that residue's got to be somewhere absolutely okay that works out so on uh, the casualty thing um between everything, uh, there would be three that Shiny could use Revivify on if Shiny has the power to do so. He has the diamonds and the spell slots. Okay. So bringing people back uh, into this one, there are wounds healing. Um, between all your efforts, your people are still, they're injured. I mean, there's like deep gashes, but they are alive. Um, uh, the exception are two, two. Uh, this is going to be these two dice. Oof. Uh, 21 did meet their death and are they're in pieces. Not something Revivify can help with. But besides those, uh, there's no needless ones from when you were able to get in. So. I see, Derek, looking at the ground and with your magic, there is residual energies 
You see the magical energies around the stones that uh, Mars was investigating. Turning your attention to what else lay here. Um... you are able to see there is a tablet that is about six by eight inches that is on the person uh, that the human that is dead which is in the body the the body's a drow oh, okay it's a dead person can I revivify him well I think I don't want to necessarily go against the like, Dolus was transporting them. You have to work that with Dolus, but uh, it's a it's it's a human. Like you think it might be the one who caused this. Oh, okay, yeah, and um, yeah, I, I've at that point. Would have we say you're people. teleporting, but everyone's doing this at the same time. So yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, and point of order, Dolus, Derek would have done that, and I would have teleported it back to Jorhas. Yeah. Um. Also, letting you know that we're going to do speak with dead tomorrow on this guy. Yeah. So, you're able to get this uh, tablet, and um, it says, uh, actually, it goes real quick. Um, it glows bright. I think instantly, you want to instantly know what it is, but uh, it does resound uh, with conjuration magic and then as you look at the pieces that are around there's several just like broken metal bits uh shrapnel in essence and you ever start gathering that because they all resound with residual magic they've been enchanted and while their purpose uh seems to have been done and the magic is fading, you're able to use the spell um, to find the pieces. And... Uh, all right. The school around this is going to be Conjuration as well. And... You can't piece them all together, but they seem to uh, kind of make up uh, what almost seems to be some type of s symbol uh, that's been strewn together with crystal and dust inlaid. Uh, they grow quicker. You don't. You can't quite piece the puzzle together, but you know there is something that was um, either broken or shattered. Or something along those lines. Um, then Mars identifying the stones um, here. Uh, these stones have been particularly tuned. Um, uh, specifically here, actually, to Sorry. Uh, here, the one specifically here are attuned um, to one like it doesn't quite have a name that you can understand in this moment. It is like of darkness specifically. And 
Let's see here. Do we have any Lumia? 33 Arcana. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, and you were trying to figure out specifically, uh, like, why this happened here and what would look there. Okay. All right, so back to quickly to Mars. These are specifically crafted with the plane of Nessus. And their purpose is to uh, stable stabilize rips in the planar walls to keep them from being healed. Uh, does that word Nessus ring any bells to Mars? Yeah, I kind of check. Uh, probably not with a 13. No. How many stones are there? There are seven. No. All seven seem to point to Nessus because they seem to be the different. With that, you can sort of tell the, the markings on them. I'm going to round all of them up uh, and just kind of hold on to them. Then the 30. So, looking at everything here, feeling the energy, this. Has re is like reopening wounds. As far as ideas of like wards, um, the the Rashani isn't able to ward entirely against uh, plane or travel and these things everywhere. Um, and while one can ward against things like someone willing themselves to go in, so maybe maybe uh, like a teleporting in individually or that type of spell, the walls that are barriers are just weak here. And looking around and kind of just kind of thinking of this whole place and you've lived here a while before this generally in Roshana versus almost anywhere else Roshana has some of the weakest walls between the planes that exist and there are some places like here in the deeper depths where during the calamity and during the, those times when this is where the betrayer gods would go to and fro this is where things would rise up to be the armies this is the seat of power this is the former site of godranas this whole place is all of Roshana. and it is here where they're the, the seats of the gods have made this place forever thin. But these seem to have targeting those places specifically. With the 30, you're able to put that something has happened. This was an accident. It's not even something that went wrong. You don't think that just from everything everyone is finding... Naomi, it doesn't appear that this this person didn't mean to do a thing. Something happened. And with the other information you're able to gather, it might have occurred earlier than was supposed to. So this is a mistake. 
I think that's everyone, right? Yep. I think Shiny's just sitting while the others are doing that investigation after he finished resurrecting a few folks, uh, revivifying a few folks. He's just leaning up against a wall, crouched, just exhausted from the effort. Yeah. Now, Lumi will approach Mars and be like, Mars, um, we have, to, I have a way we could see what happened. You do. We could go back to the exact moment if we can find out when this happened and watch everything that went down. Uh, well, I mean, it happened during dinner. Um, so... We, Did you ask around window. the people and find out to see if they know when exactly? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, go find some witnesses. Probably they've already probably been uh, evacuated by the captain. Uh, we can go ask around, and try to get an exact time frame. Yeah. Um, before I head and do that, um, these stones are. Like I probably guess, like, they're to stabilize a rift. They're attuned to a place called Nessus. If you if you've heard of that, um, we could probably talk to Amnon or any other smart people here. Um, I mean, I just got the, just a sense of just darkness. Uh, before I got the name, so it's probably something very bad. Just by the things that really hurt is very bad. That oh. doesn't sound good. Not at all. Um, but uh, I guess we should all. I'll, I'll get. I'll try to take some witness statements. Um, we'll find some people. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Um, did Dol Dolus? Did you teleport back to the the mansion, the the, the shore house, the tower with the the body? You're muted, by the way. Um, I feel like Dolus knows shore house enough to where. Uh, he would think of a spot in there and just send the uh, body by itself. Okay. Um, and I know you have a, a bag, so I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to give you three of these Nessus stones. Just your, put these in your bag. Um, and I'm going to walk over to Shiny and give him the rest before I go um, talk to people, just so I'm not holding these things, and so they're split apart from each other. Gotcha. So it's three for me. Three for Dolus, four for Shiny. Uh, actually, I'll keep one on my... I'll keep one on my person, so you each get three. Um, I'll tuck this one in my own backpack, and uh, I'll go try to take some witness statements, see, and try to get uh, as close to a time frame of when the when the rift opened. Um, Hope is going to go sit down next to Shiny because she's not feeling great either. And she's just going to grab his hand and hold it comfortingly. He takes her hand and just lays his head back against the wall. You need a hug? No. Um, no, I'll be okay. It'll be okay. We saved as many as we could. Yeah. That counts for something, right? Usually does. 
makes all the all the stuff we do worth it. I think so. Even the bad stuff. Even the bad stuff. You're not a bad person, Shiny. You know that, right? Even good people do bad things. Occasionally, yeah. But, unfortunately, that's life. It's not all about, it's not all black and white, Shiny. Oh, oh, I, I forgot. I was supposed to meet um, Lars somewhere. So um, let me know uh, how everything goes. And if you need me, you guys know how to reach me. Um, yeah. And yeah, I'll see. Catch up with you later. She's and not. She's going to grab his hand, like squeeze his hand just to get his attention real quick. If you ever need to talk, I'm here. No judgment. You know me. I don't have a problem talking. And then he Insight check. <laughs> 29. Oh, he was totally lying. I get it. Sorry, I'm talking on mute. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he rolled a 15 on his deception check. Um, he, uh, there's something going on. I don't know. I don't know. That he's obviously upset about something. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know that you'd be able to tell what about what. Yeah, I don't know if Hope even knows that he, what if he, what he did in that other room. Or if that would even be the case. Okay. 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 Um. Then, I think the uh, by the time you want to go to witnesses, you can still find them, but they have been moved out of here. Um, because probably one to two hours of everything that you all just did. Um. Shiny tries to find Lars, and you all make your way back out of the Undershire into the main night sky of Roshana. Go ahead and take a break.
Alrighty. So uh. I think we should check in with the queen, make sure, you know, everything was handled the way she wanted. And was she through with us for the evening? Yeah, it sounds like a safe bet. Everything we can do now is going to have to wait till morning. Everybody's still with us, right? Uh, I was going to find, like, plug witness statements because Nailumi wanted to do a thing. Like, get a, uh, like, uh, accurate time frame for when the uh, the rip opened. Okay. Above table, what spell is that? Uh, Josh there. Oh yeah, the spell is going to be Valda's impression of the past that she got from Amnon. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Does it need a specific time? Like it needs the minutes to seconds too it's, I need you must have the specific exact time you wish to see you okay well yeah depending on what uh if Mars gets or doesn't get we could probably get the some answers with speak with dead but I yeah Mars should uh, give it a try yeah I'm gonna try to find the Try to collect enough witness statements to uh, put together the exact time. Okay. So you're moving through the ones that are still being taken care of, and I think all of you slowly moved, especially those of you helping. Like you've naturally gotten out of the Shadow Shire, and it's been cleared. And um, you can do investigation and persuasion. If I'm next to him, I'll give him bardic inspiration. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, I need a D12. Derek, your bardic yeah, yeah, D12. Yeah, that's a D12. Yep. Cool. Already really high. Oh, okay. Uh, forty. <laughs> <laughs> And which one did you choose? Persuasion. <laughs> he gives you your kids for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I I am the bread queen. <laughs> no. Um okay. So uh yeah, talking to you, they're very willing to answer your questions. As far as um you you get a sense of where the time was um, during your dinner seemed to be uh, when well I would say here you piece together when people first saw the creatures and so you have the first sighting of, of a creature like ripping someone to shreds as it barged into a home uh, and tore someone apart kind of piece of them you got a proud time that happened and then because no one seems to report seeing the portal being opened and you remember that there were several dead bodies right around there so the explosion might have killed people um so so that's why there might not be like actual in a precise time the portal opened but you have the first kind of right when the first attack <clears throat> was um and then there are reports of um that they were several new um drow uh, individuals that had come under here 
uh, in the last month uh, from this as well. Uh, they just sort of talk about people moving in, taking in some of the lower uh, housing. Uh, and just judging from you can make out and again, there's still still scattered brain. The last month, over a hundred have come into the city, and doesn't seem to quite know why. That's a little unusual because most either like don't leave or aren't transient. You know, people didn't know if they were, you know, what what everything was uh, relation to that. Um, and most don't even. Like understand it happened until they begin talking to you, begin asking these questions, and you start to re realize this. Um, it's a little uh, specifically the Undershire, where they have come in. And other than that, there's a lot of fear over, like this portal being reopened. Uh, and you have memories of sealing these rifts, of of keeping things from coming up. Anything specifically else that you wanted to try to know? Um. So I got that uh, got time from like the the first sighting of one of the creatures. Um, hmm. If there there was an explosion when the when the uh, rip opened, because some like arcane force or something possibly could have generated that big of a sound and like did damage to uh, the people beneath it. Yeah. You get when the first attack happened as far as a creature coming in and destroying a wall. Okay. You, you're you're not no one seems to have witnessed the actual opening of the portal. Gotcha. Um think as at this point in time i think that's everything mars really could hope for time frame and we got leads on drow um new drow entering the city so i think that's it um and uh i'll go back to my Lumia with uh, all the information on it all right uh, it's like so. I got the time frame. It happened at this point in time. This is when the first sighting of one of those creatures happened. But there's also like in the past month, over a hundred new drow people entering the city and moving specifically into the Shadow Shire. Huh. That's interesting. Well, you ready? She bops you on the forehead and casts Valda's Impressions of the Past at 8th level, bringing Mars with me to see what I saw, what I can see. Okay. So that is specifically, you go back to the location where it seems that it all... Yep. You, appear, you cast your senses back in time and perceive, perceive your current location as it was at the same point in the past, including any events that were happening at that time. Okay. And all we can do is listen and hear and make perception checks of what's happening. Okay. All right, you concentrate with the staff in hand. It's in there with Mars as... Everything around you starts to fade. It's as if, or move, the top of buildings reconstruct themselves. You see Nilumia getting torn asunder backwards. And this blood goes back in as 
things quickly wind in backwards. And then you see what appears to be a young female drow. drow. Her head covered in like a turban carrying a dark satchel has some type of fur upon it. And as she walks, there are another group, Drow as well, who uh, stop her, demand that she give over her satchel. Uh, they produce blades. You see her uh, very slowly grab what you can see is a spell casting crystal as a brief scene unfolds. As she seems to be focused on attack and defending herself with spells like shield, that you can tell creating forces. Um, their attacks aren't to harm her as much as cut the strap and to fail, but another comes in. And by the way the blade cuts, you can tell it is a enchanted blade that slices and is able to cause this to break as one of these thieves or would-be thieves grabs the satchel this woman concentrates and a large clawed hand appears of um, arcane energy that goes to grab and in the midst of this the bag rips and you see this um, disc has some type of markings upon it fall crack and in this immense explosion of energy you see the ripplings the thinning and a host of creatures they're almost in weight what looks almost like as if they were herded and the explosion behind them almost causes a stem or does cause a stampede as they tear through the, th the thinnest of barriers that are left causing the marks that you saw as they start barreling and crashing their walls and ripping people apart. Is there anything specific you're trying to look out for? Nilumia, um, with her true sight being active as she's looking through all this, I want to try to see if I can make any... I like If I can see her and look for any identifying markings on her. Yeah. So when this went off, it killed everyone around. And when she fell, she kind of shimmered into a human with deep red hair with the, the corpse she found. Looking at markings, make a perception check. I will add knowledge of past life. That is going to be a 25. You see, as she falls on her arms, you um, see green glass crystals that you know as residuum embedded into her arms with scars. But on the inside of her left arm, you see what you would know of from working with Mars as a symbol of the Augen Trust. 
Nalumi will point that out to Mars as he stands there next to her. Does she look at all familiar to me? I guess we check. Natural 20. Uh, so, sorry, total would then be 23. You don't recognize her, but the idea that they would be marked in this way that would generally identify them as Cerberus and Og, and those two organizations are at odds with one another. Very different ideas. Strikes you as extremely odd. So you don't recognize it from the trust, but you, in your duties, for whatever reason you remember... Simply seeing her studying at the uh, at the uh, Sosters Academy, you knew her as a student there. That she was most just only by sight. <clears throat> Wouldn't have had occasion to talk to her. Um. Is that... Okay. Um. Was I able to get a glimpse at like the uh, the drow form that she took? Yeah. Okay. Would I be able to kind of recreate that uh, using my shape change? Yeah, you have the time here. You can do that. Okay. Any other details you want to try to get from the scene? I'm good, Mars. Uh, do the the would be thieves have any uh, markings on them? Like they would be part of any guild, organization, group. Make a perception check. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, 19. 19. They all have what looks like it has been a intense burns on the left side of their necks. And There is um, what appears to be a red um, tattoo that um, is just a dot, essentially, that is on their hands. on the inside of their palm. Um, I'll take another look at one of them, uh, get their features down right in the shape change and include the uh, dot in the palm. I have him like his visual locked up in here. Um, I think I'm good now as well. Then I let me we'll drop concentration on the spell. Okay. Go. That. 
She's just gonna look to Mars and go, that's interesting. Yeah, I've seen her once uh, when I was working for the Trust. She's not part of the Trust. She's from the Solitress Academy. Uh, work, probably works for the Assembly based on those markings on her arms, but that it still does make sense. The Trust and the Assembly are constantly at odds. It does make sense, though, if they wanted to make an attack in Jorhas. I yeah. mean, you said that the group was planning an attack, right? True. They, they were... What happens if this was part of it, but she just got messed with and it accidentally happened? Uh, you, you did say earlier that probably she probably wasn't... This was probably too early for this to happen. Um... But you spent time here. Um, I'll shape change into uh, that one drow with the dot on the hand. And said, this, all of this, any of it look familiar? Burn scar on the left side, red dot in the palm. Is this tracking anything in mind? Matt, does any of this look familiar to Nilumia from when she spent time here? So... You had the true sight, so if... Would you have pointed the red dart dur during the vision, Mars, or no? Uh... Yeah, probably. Okay. Um... Looking at it, it's... The, when you saw it there, instead of a red dot, your sight saw through illusion magic. And you see oh, what appears to be a some type of skull. Sean in red, around which, like, is like is a negative space skull, just with a few markings, and then solid lines coming off of it that give the shape of a spider. Would you like me to make a history check? Oh yeah, you can make a history check if you want. That is going to be a 16. Don't think... Yep, yeah, you don't recognize it. Other than vaguely knowing this place and spiders and the drowned spiders have a history specifically to the goddess Sloth. But I mean this particular symbol doesn't ring something for you. Yeah. She's like, I mean, I've never seen it before, but don't the Kryn don't like that symbol I mean spider symbols around if you notice, when we were on our way, most of those symbols were smashed and yeah. disregarded. So, um, I, guess I hope this uh, doesn't involve her. Well, that was just on the uh, would-be thieves who accosted her. Um, they were probably just wandering by. I, I just wanted to get a look at them. Um, but it's all stuff we could bring up to uh, maybe not the Bright Queen, maybe to uh, the Shadow Whisper. Yeah, you, you should definitely show them that sign and tell them what we found out. Could you draw the sign? <laughs> I, I imagine the Nailum would have maybe drawn it because I couldn't see yeah. it. She will draw the sign that's in stuff chat. <laughs> Yay! I had that now. Spider symbol for you. Yeah, 
so I'll, I'll bring this to the Shadow Whisperer when, uh, whenever I get a chance. Yeah, let's get home and let everybody know what we found out. Yeah. Isn't it weird to be like, we have a home here now? I... I honestly never thought I'd like survive being over here and them knowing about me. But this is this this I love this city. This is a very nice city. And I've only you know been here once. And I never never got a chance to see a lot of it. This is very nice. I'm glad we have a home here. Glad you got your position. That's awesome. Yeah, it seems like you might even get a position. How do yeah. you feel about that? Since, you know, you kind of used to work for the other guys. It's still very strange, but I mean, we've gone through stranger. Um, I'm. How are you going to tell Azok? I mean, not Azok, but Azrael. Um, I'm going to say that's a need-to-know basis. <laughs> uh, if we it's probably a good paths, idea. Yeah, if we cross paths with Azrael, I don't think we're going to bring up the fact that, you know, you're now a junior Archmage with the Dynasty. I am potentially... Oh, I'm pretty sure he knew I was part of the Dynasty when he met me. True, but now you're like solidly an Archmage, Junior Archmage. Like, robes and everything. I know, I guess me and him are rivals, huh? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. It's, he used to be a part of the Rosguard? That's what they tell me. Wow, weird. Maybe your Calvin friend uh, knows more if we can save him from those fake. All right. Let's, uh, let's head on home. Okay. Also, one quick random question. What's consecution? The like, right, right queen threw that word at me, and like it's just, what? <laughs> Sounds like a big word. Um, It's like if you die within the certain range of the beacons they have and everything... Um, you'll be kind of held in an area until the next baby is born, where you'll be replaced, I think, into that baby. Depending on the family also, I think, like, what family you side with, and, like, yeah, I think there's quite a bit of rules behind it. I don't really know. Huh. Interesting. Thanks. Okay. Why? Are you going to be consecuted someday? I mean, Bright Queen said if I can like properly prove myself and like uh, formally or formally side with Dynasty, I can go very far and even be possibly eligible for consecution. And like, uh, I think she even said like start a, like set up a den. She said a lot of stuff. But like she hmm. ended that whole convo with saying like she firmly wants me with the dynasty. Because my very strong connection to the Luxon. Yeah, I mean I don't think that many people from other realities ever touched it at the exact same time like you did. Yeah. So that kinda makes sense. Can Chris. now let me hold a staff near Mars? Does it glow? Because there's technically a beacon inside him. <laughs> um. Yeah, pointing towards him, it does have a soft glow of the gray dunamantic light when it nears his body. Yeah, you are definitely a magical item. She just keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 
legendary. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Then... So everyone makes it back to your Jura house? Is that what we're doing? What do we, where do we feel like the action takes us next? Barbara had the idea of uh, talking to the uh, Bright Queen and filling yeah. her in on the situation. Yeah. Do you want to do that now? What do you want to do? I think the sooner the better. Yeah. Okay, so who's going to go ahead and do that? Uh, I, I could go. Yeah. With uh, all the information that Elumi and I found. Yeah. Who else? Because I think that... um, Yeah, who else would like to do this? Be on the I'll, Inform the Queen team. I'll, I'll go I'll go with... Uh, to support Marg. Okay. Then as that is a go, what else uh what else is everyone doing? I'm gonna check if my teleportation spell actually worked and I wanna make sure the body isn't like uh just somewhere else randomly back in Shore House. And I think once I have it in a room, Dolus is going to take out the diamond dust that he got uh this morning. And um, start uh, drawing some stuff on the door to this room, and is spending an eighth level uh, glyph of warding, mm. so that anybody that touches this door, it's gonna go in for a nasty surprise of eight d ten of something damage. Ten d eight. I'm sorry. Ten d eight. I think. We're going to make that <laughs> drow. It's funny with its drow, so fire damage. And yeah, and once I do that, uh, consume all the gold dust. And I'll tell anybody that comes in, don't touch that door. And if they have to, you have to know this code word. I don't have a code word made up, so just think I made just think I gave you one. Okay. I think on uh their way up to back to the Jor house, Hope would have gone into the first bar she sees, got a bottle of something, and then went back to the house and she's kind of Uh, I guess not really locked herself in the room, but just she's just out on her all out on hers and Dolce's balcony, just drinking. That's... Shiny would have gone to find some place that's as wild as pop could be in the city like a forest or yeah not like a not wild like a oh, crap not like a disco but like right. a forest yeah like he'll go find some place that's as wild and untamed that that he could find or something that's as close to nature as possible within the city and just so up in a tree. Within the city, there is the very well manicured formats, which is where you live. It is um, like bushes. The trees that would be would be kept to uh, purple and leaf and kept to maybe 10 feet maximum. And the branches put down not very supportive. Beyond that, it is. Nothing necessarily grows. There is no like nature spot within the city. There are some nice lawns. 
Where would you think Shiny would try to find Solos? Shiny, you're muted. Damn it. Um, I think Shiny would go up then. He would try to find like a really high point somewhere above everything and like above the hustle and bustle of people and just sort of just try to find the highest vantage point he could to just be removed. Hmm. Absolutely. Go through the purple and red trees and the, the cops here or there. And um, there are, is a uh, essentially a pavilion uh, could, could gather and talk and eat sheltered from the rain and it rises um, decoratively uh, bearing a what well, seems to be a staff with a luxon upon it like you can climb up and sit on plant side here and here you can look out amongst the occasional tree see over the walls ask where the grass of the gallimaufry ends and into the dirt and grime of the coronas where it transitions from the soft light in the coronas it's the harsher orange glows and then the strikes of lightning and dark starry novas that explode within the ghost lands beyond the walls of roshana you see a glowing spectral creature that looks enormous that moves within these lands out upon barbed large barbs of maybe bone that seemed to rise 50, 80 feet high that must be miles and miles away that you only even see because of the flashes of red electricity that come from the sky that is cloudless down into the scorch field of Jahas. How much would have uh, hope of drinking out of that bottle in an hour? Uh, she's probably a good three quarters of the way in. <laughs> um, yeah, because it that's it, it takes Dolus an hour to get this ward going, but I feel like hope would be his next stop, and we'll see this. Um. And is she just like on the floor? Is she just leaning on the balcony? Um, I think uh, with everything that she would have uh, invested in, there would have been at least chairs out there, and she still would have been in her dress, blood-soaked <laughs> dress by now. Um, just sitting on one of the chairs, her knees up to her chest, and drinking out of the bottle. Uh. He'll take the seat next to yours and ask for the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much left. Still She'll hand it. She'll hand it over. What's on your mind? <sighs> Just needless amount of death and destruction. That was a lot. I didn't think we'd get so far into the shit we're so quick into the city. Uh, I'm sorry that's all that's 
really been since he met us. Uh, it's fine. I think what I'm worried about most something wrong with Shiny. Shiny? Yeah. He's got Lars. <sighs> I think that's a cover. What is, what is he covering up? He's the happiest dude out of all of us. It may be sometimes misguided, but it's... No, he's not. Something's eating at him. I don't know what. <sighs> Maybe I'll talk to Mars to check in on him then. They seem to be the closest. Yeah. I got some sort of bromance going on. No oh, shit. <laughs> but... He's, he's not doing well. And he, like, Dolus actually, like, looks around, looks over the balcony, and uh, we don't know where he went, did he? Do we? Nah. Oh, boy. He said he was gonna go see Lars, but Lars is on the ship. So then he's on the ship. Do you want to be here, Hope? What do you mean? I guess, like, I you, um... I mean, we've only hung out a little bit, and I know a couple of things about you, and I know where you're from. Uh, I just wanted to know if this is the kind of gig you want. I think something different will... It's fun. I've been on the sea for a long time. And like, I know there's a lot of stuff that people are just assuming that's going to happen. And I'm entertaining some of those things. I just want you to know that you're not obligated to... We're not obligated to go through with anything that we don't want to do. You know something, Dolus? For such a smart man, you really are an idiot. It just takes the right person to put me in my place until then. <laughs> Why am I an idiot? Because I do want to be here with you. Well, good, because I want you here, too. That's nice to hear. Are you gonna... Are you gonna finish up my booze, or can I have it back? No, that's all yours. <laughs> I, uh... I don't need that. Just take it back. Finish it up. Should probably call it a night too. Yeah. They're all doing their own stuff. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> Come on. I need yeah. you to hold me tonight. As always. <sighs> oh, first help me out of this dress. It was hard I, enough trying to figure out how to put the damn thing on. I don't even know how you actually put those on. Is it like a clasp? Is it a tie? Is it just from the back, from the front? She'll, she'll lift her hair and there's a tie in the back. Okay, cool, it's cool, cool. corseted it up the back. Oh, that's going to take forever. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just wear the same thing and it usually just works with both uh, when I'm not me and when I am me. So I don't know. It just, this is a I lot. Think this is this is the first time I've ever really worn anything this fancy, so it looks good. Thank you. I mean, you. I'll twirl you just like after like giving up a little bit, twirl you. I watch you like the <laughs> like the uh, ploof on the bottom just twirl. Yeah. <laughs> now I gotta get it cleaned. Ugh. Eh, I 
I got it. And um, do I have the cantrip? I think I do. <laughs> prestige. Yeah, I'll, I'll, pre yeah, I'll prestige all that stuff off of you. <laughs> now it's nice and pretty. Thank you. <laughs> no, seriously, help me out. This is this is too many knots. <laughs> uh, shit. I can't see back there. What do you want me to do? I don't know. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just cut the ties. We could get new ties. I can I'll just, just furiously like get uh, get those knots out. She'll no. finally breathe and be comfortable for the first time all night. Oh, thank God, I can move. Oh. I just I'll kind of pick it up, drape it over a chair. It's not how you're supposed to dress it, and just put it like yeah. that, and like. Yeah. Go to bed. <laughs> oh. You do you. I'll just uh I'm gonna wait up a bit until they get back and tell them about the door. By the way, don't touch and he'll tell you which specific door. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get really hurt really really quickly. Alright, not a problem. I'm just gonna and she snores. <sighs> She's already laying down. She's out cold. She used up <laughs> a lot of energy tonight. Um he'll uh, extinguish all the candle lights, close the balcony door, tuck her in, and then go downstairs. Okay. Then I know we're going to go team going to kind of the the deal. Uh, Derek, is anything you wanted to do? Are we on the ship? Uh, no, you're in a uh, house that you have in the city of Urshana is where uh, and you have uh, your own room. Hmm. Or you can do anything else you want. I guess besides casting contingency and uh, doing like greater restoration or something on me. Hmm. I'm not sure because. Well, is there a goal to like investigate still what happened, or are we kind of just chilling? I think it's to investigation. Like, I well, let's say for this, why don't we? Why don't we do this? Why don't we? You're right now with like, I think Marlboro, Mars, maybe Nilumia. Why don't you kind of fill Derek in? You can do it out of character, in character. Let's get Derek is up to speed from all of your perspectives. Um, so we were at a dinner party uh, with the Bright Queen of Queen Dynasty when we were alerted that something was going on beneath the city. Um, we made our way there, uh, fought these things uh, beneath the city uh, that were jumping out of this rip in the plains. Um, we got it closed. We started investigating what caused it uh, or who opened it. Uh, found it was this person from the Empire who accidentally, technically accidentally opened it when they were being robbed. And, uh, we are going to report our findings to the Bright Queen. Is the Queen a nice person or is she not? So far to us, yes. Okay. However, she is a queen, so she doesn't suffer fools. She doesn't need to be nice to us. Okay. Uh, I, I have a plan, but I will put those on the back burner for the next night or something. And let's just say my character is uh, just chilling, chilling for now. All right. Who would the um, those of you making your way to the uh, uh, people? Who, who do you feel like you want to see the most here? Is it the queen? Is it kind of spy master? Is it the general that you work through? Like who are you going to give the move to? Like who do you think needs to handle this information? Um, I want to run this by the shadow whisperer first. Okay. Like at least the uh, the stuff about uh, the 
uh, assembly person working with the trust having this stuff. Okay. Then, um... Oh, and uh, I would have taken back the, uh, the stones. I don't know, Shiny probably dipped. Uh, if we swung back by the... You do have one. I do have one. Yeah, right. you're right. I do have one. Never mind. I have the one. Yeah. Okay. I like to. I would like to. I would like to have it in front of both the spot, the shadow whisper, and the queen, so you can get a judge on their reactions to it. At this point, there's a lot of double blinds going on, so it yeah. makes it difficult to know what what's being played at. And who we who we could trust or not trust. Yeah, Indeed. so let's bring this to both of them. That's just my that's just my thoughts on it, Mars. I just yeah. don't I don't want to box us into a corner and we give information that doesn't go anywhere and, and gets protected. Yeah, no, I, I like the idea. We we bring it to the Shadow Whisper and the Queen. Good. Then, um, um, Naomi, are you with them? You feel like you'd be. She was going to return home, and she went to that look for Shiny, but he's not home. And she couldn't find him anywhere, so she eventually gave up, and has been sitting on the roof. Staring into the darkness. When she goes and decides to do ascending to Vandal Hammer, and goes, Hey, it's been a minute. We lived. Have our own house in Roshana. You free to play a concert for a wedding here coming up? I'd love to see you again. Your husband hasn't been dead for two days! <laughs> I love it! I mean, that's true, but weirder things have happened. Hey, Lindley is her own person. <laughs> Ex-husband. So it's been like a couple centuries. It's been like, yeah, but he died like a month ago. That's true, it has been a month. Right. I'm always looking for a gig. <laughs> Send me the deets. Also, I can do. She's just in perfect. Now I have to get them to agree on the date. And then she just sits up on the roof and just hangs out watching, waiting for Shiny to return eventually, so if he does. <clears throat> All right, then you get your uh, audience here. Is is this with the queen? Yeah, I think they said they wanted the queen. Are we? Uh, are we all there? Am I there? You can be. You're welcome to this scene. So, I think with this, the three there's a you're led into a very private room. Um can feel you see glowing runes likely protections and this unlike the private room you were brought into mars where it seemed like a desk this has the feel of a war room there are maps of all of taldore and cities and what look like passages that lead through earth and underground and things yet to be taken um, as the general, the dark or shadow whisperer, the queen sit down with you, with Mars, Derek, and Marlboro. And the shadow whisperer immediately 
I hear that you conducted an investigation. What have you found? Yes. So, uh, I'll pull out um, the stone and just set it on the table. Um, this is something by itself is not super powerful, but this is involved in what opened the rip. Uh, it is attuned to a place called Nessus. Um, the queen kind of breathes sharply, but continue. This was in the possession of a member of both the Cerberus Assembly and the Ogden Trust, which I did not, still didn't think was possible, despite what we found earlier. Um, they were hiding within the Shadowshire as a member of the Drow populace. Apparently, a number of new Dark Elves have been making their way into Group Summon. New Dark Elves. Um, who were like at least the majority of them were likely empire infiltrators uh, this infiltrator in particular ran into um, a group of ne'er-do-wells who tried to relieve her of her belongings and accidentally triggered the opening of the rip. Um, so we have confirmation that more than one uh, spy for the Empire is within Osana. Mm. It goes... Kind of just sit there. The general speaks up. Do we think this was the attack that we thought was happening? Is it stopped or are there more threats? I think this was one person trying to set up part of the attack. It seems that, from what we gathered, the rip was opened accidentally. So, whatever the Empire's planned for this city, that wasn't it. Queen speaks, so... Their plan is to undo all the work we've done here. To try to turn this place backwards. And then presumably lead the dynasty populace into their loving arms if they really are setting up evacuation points. General speaks. If these all opened up, all our best troops would fight and likely die as our populace made its way to safety. Spy master. And thus... Most of our leadership and might wiped out as we would defend the realm. And they... get to earn a trust. We are the heroes. And for 
the vast majority of the dynasty survivors, the Empire could make up whatever lie they would want to tell about the leadership and what actually happened. Say, they could, they could say that this was all the higher ups of the dynasty's fault if the if their plan actually succeeded or if it actually succeeds it's not going to they're all about propaganda lying to their people shadow whisper says i agree with his estimation the general Looks to you, Marlboro, and Derek as well. Both of you, actually. You are men of the blade. And you, said Derek, of passion. What do you have to say on this? Wait, did you say that? Who, who did you say that? At? Man of the blade to Marlboro and a man of passion to Derek. And then asked, what do you have to say on this? I was just looking for you to kind of be in the, be here. Um, Can you describe the queen? Absolutely. Sorry, Buzz. Because I described to everybody that I'm, I'm going, yeah. So coming to this room, you see what I described before. The three figures at the table. You have Layla Skrin, the bright queen, who herself is a female dark elf not very bright gotcha her skin uh purple and blue her eyes a deep silver her hair to match and wears even here a large crown of onyx and ruby she has what looks like this odd like metal fabric she's almost dressed for war hmm hmm all right I call upon my tooth and I wish for the queen to fall madly not madly to, to gain mad favor with the queen. Okay. Now, is this... Uh, it's not wish, right? This is a channel divinity? I have no idea. It's, it's basically a divine intervention. Yes, yeah, a divine help. So it's not wish. Yes. It's, it's a little different. But you, would, you, you, you desire favor with the queen. Okay. That's fair enough. And um, what is your, what do you want to do in this moment for that? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? Uh, well, as any bard is good at, um, my character probably has no plan whatsoever and is going to be improving as we go along. Okay. <laughs> I think here... He would just be like, oh, let's test out this too. A woman of power? Okay, let's let's make her like me. Absolutely. You grab the tooth, and there is a sense of where you are. Um you definitely get a sense that things like um charm is not going to be effective against her. It's not a control that can be made against her. However, let me, uh, me uh, alright, let me just kind of look, because I want to look at some spells that would be appropriate here. Maybe when, maybe when she's like, oh, a man of passion, that's that's when the tooth goes off. Yeah, I'm good with that. Um, read to me the text of Ad Abduct again. Um, uh, 
This spell teleports a creature to your location, choose a creature that's within range that is known to you, an unwilling creature can make a charisma saving throw to resist the effect. Their target is placed at the location of your choice within 30 feet. You choose if it's sitting, standing prone, or bound with nearby restraints. At the end of the spell's duration, you can choose whether the target remains at your location or is teleported back. Okay, okay. A little different. Uh, I was thinking of... Oh... Okay. Think on. And concentrate. You hold out your hand. And there is a deep gray glow as a dodecahedron outlined in silver appears, like the shape of one of light as it twirls. A scene appears of a young man they seem to be drow and around them is a thick aura of silver and red And as she gasps, the red aura lightens to almost pink, barely barely perceptible. She grabs her heart. And everyone sort of stands to take her back. And she starts to cry. And kind of grabbing her eyes, she gets up from the table and grabs what seems to be this black fabric, throws it over her head. She takes her crown off, lets over her head, puts her crown back on, and moves to the back of the room against the wall. And as she does, she simply says, give them what they need so they can prove themselves. And Marber, what do you have to say in this, to add to this conversation? Well, seeing what happened, I, I'm speechless yeah they're still looking for your interpretation especially the general is very interested in kind of says um they both kind of <clears throat> kind of the we still need to move this is almost like you feel like whatever this was is slightly unrelated to what's going on in this moment but 
is you get from the two people here the the um Shadow Whisper is very interested in Mars' way. The general is extremely interested in, in your take on the situation. So Marlboro will look at both of them. And say sorrowfully that this kingdom is being sub basically subjugate subjected excuse me to a sinister campaign aimed at its extermination we have reports that i've seen firsthand mars has delivered to you that indicate there are multiple players targeting this the dynasty It's multiple layers, and it's been being planned for, from what I can see, for a long time now. It's been a slow build, and we're not yet at the tipping point of what's going to happen. The at this point you stand at a critical juncture where your response will shape the destiny of your nation the military your shadow whispers your diplomats, everyone is going to have to work towards one aim. And that's to defeat what is being planned to be unleashed upon this nation. I can't speak for my traveling party and friends. But I can speak for myself that I'll stand with you. Shadow Spur speaks. Now that their hand has been tipped, they will expect investigations public we need to be careful to publicly not but on as much the more it can be general the more they feel we are just looking at this as maybe related to what happened along the coastal cities or else. As we have spies within the dynasty, they undoubtedly have spies here. Therefore, if you're, if you and your people are willing, as I said at dinner, us watching you attempt to resolve this might give them people they don't know. <clears throat> Especially if done outside of our influence, and specifically not you, you not seen in conjunction. Coming back here after dinner is not, uh, shouldn't arouse too many suspicions. But if we are to ask these to do this, looks back to the queen and looks back, be best if our communication isn't so blatant. Mm. 
there it says you can tell us what resources you need and we can try to provide uh, in a way that isn't obvious but I agree it would be best if things seem closed off to you though you are still heroes and would have should naturally have the access you would need to do this but By, uh, the uh, Dark Whisper continues. It is imperative. We know they can already do this. If, if they, we, if we are to assume that they have all their agents already in place, who can rip these places open? Then, if we tip our hand, we could see them open quickly. And while maybe their main objective isn't met, it could certainly kill much of our citizenry. And possibly cause a raid? And then General speaks. Indeed, if if we would have to defend from within, I could see a modest force be able to overtake the Corona. We could quickly find ourselves as a city under siege. Then they kind of look at the three of you. They haven't given their information. I could. I could continue to scout through the Shadow Shire uh, disguised as someone this guy's is someone on their side uh, in our investigation uh, and through Nilumia's help we were able to piece together uh, the glamour that the the infiltrator I took these stones off of uh, employed so I could use that in moderation to see if anyone shows any sort of sign of surprise, sign of recognition. Begin through there. Only I could find... Be, be careful options. with that if, if they get wind that we know who one of their operatives are. Then they might think we know of the operation, and it would cause them to act hastily. I guess it's a good thing we already removed the body. I can we can find out more from uh, from this dead operative. Look, uh, that was fortunate. Destroy the body when you're done. We don't need it found. Understood. A couple of things we may need now. Since we participated in closing the rift below, we're now known. We don't know who in and amongst the crowd that escaped or was led out to safety. We, do, we don't know who, who was in that. So we have to really be careful. So one of the th one, one thing for sure is the house we have, we need some kind of protections uh, from eavesdropping. 
I don't know what the magical term is for, for eavesdropping, but we've got to have a place that we feel like safe to have discussions because they have, you know, they have the means to infiltrate your city like this, then they could definitely be suspicious of us already and be laying the groundwork to find out what we know or what we're doing. A good cover is that we were, we helped in the situation and we were summoned to be rewarded for our actions well enough. That's an easy enough thing to do, but if their suspicion is still up, where we're staying would be a target for unwanted guests. I believe you have a junior archmage at your disposal. We should be able to achieve this privacy. I will arrange five miles from here to the north of Roshana. In two days, I can have a problem occur where they would have ample reagents for these type of spells. You could take care of this problem and thus get these ingredients. And the general speaks up alternatively. Could we have these things find their way into the Oblivion? Prison of Penance. That would be a good cover. As well, if you wish to clear a level. I don't know how that would work, but that would be the best way for us to give you the type of supplies you would need. Have you find them? Essentially. Though. Simply claim it as you loot. No one would go. Uh, your junior archmage could request some, but the quantities it sounds like you would need would raise some eyebrows. And if we assigned mages to there, that might look suspicious as well. How does that sound? I'll look to Mars. He's kind of oh. truck. I mean, it's a start, I think. Both of the first options sound optimal, whether we take it off of this problem or we clear a level of the Dungeon of Penance. I think I think if Marlboro if you're up to it Marlboro we can go down this route of the dungeon get that level cleared uh, fill out that line of work for the Echo Knights and we get our loot And 
general, that that's the normal path a knight would take is to communicate through you their desires to take on this task. So it wouldn't raise, and I, and I ask because it, I'm asking if it would raise suspicions that we would be in contact. No, if you would, uh, if you would declare your, if your mission was to go down into the um, prison of penance, there would be reasons for us to do this as long as you proceeded that way. And thus, should you succeed in the given time as well, as the general, I'm sorry, as you see the general time, it would seem the access would be generally acceptable, yes. Look into the Shadow Whisperer. Yes, that is a way to achieve this. It would give you, Camarbro, plenty of reason. And as Amnon has not been included, I suggest we do not include him in these informations. So that would rule out Nilumia, like Nilumia going through her channels. Also, if we if we went the route of going outside of the city. We wouldn't be outside of the city if there were for some reason anyone we're searching for catching wind of us maybe wanting to investigate us we would we wouldn't know if they would have access to our tower or not us still being in the city for this would potentially limit that the the, the last statement about not including Amnon and, and Nilumia not having access to her channels. Man, I'm not very good at these, but can I check against that statement? Inside check? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. This is going to be bad. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't get pick up anything. Okay. <laughs> All right. So essentially they there's a there's some supply runs. What they definitely gonna have is whatever you choose, they can make sure there's a large amount of spell components. Because if you're asking for a magical aid mm -hmm. in a way, enough to to take care of, of things. Um and if that is the major bit, that's kind of what they where they would go towards this kind of resource exchange. Yeah, and I, I would say you know, and that's just from my perspective. And our whole group is not here because you know we didn't want to really raise too much uh, suspicion on the whole group coming. So it could be that there's something that we haven't thought of that some of the brighter members of our group may think of but having access to you general can at least we can work towards what's needed mm. because the end you know the end game is it's too great a risk not to do what's needed and goes with we'll, let's do this tomorrow come and train the echo knights i will plan to be there observing i will change some schedules that would give us reason to be close and pass any other additional and inform us of which option sounds good to you okay. for the exchange itself and then I worry are in enough meetings I can pass it. So, 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 so yes indeed. I think I'll simply plan to be in the conversation. Mm. 
I promise I won't hurt anyone too badly. And then grimaces. Uh, the general pain. If that is fine. And Queen says in the back sobbing through tears almost regardless their need and she kind of points towards her chair that is a little greater than the others and the general quickly um, takes a key out and puts it in the chair and the seat kind of opens and he removes from it uh, seven crimson metal medallions so spy master says do not show these lightly, but if you need to get a wheel moving or a god to be somewhere else, this should do it. It's the gods will listen, but they also know you. Uh, as far as officers. Might not go over as well. General goes, true. And I think with that, you all can go. Anything before you'd want to know before you'd go back to your group? No, we'll just kind of bow and I'll stand up, bow and leave, leave the leave the room. Hold on. If able to, I'll make eye contact with the Bright Queen. Keep bowing back out of the room. Yeah. Go in her direction. Her face is covered by this black veil, but she does just nod. Uh, anything for Derek? Mm. How did you react to the to the divine intervention? She was just like, oh my gosh, give them whatever they need. Yes. she. It seemed like it hit an emotional cord with her. So you're not sure what gift this has given her. But it seemed to have done her a favor. Ah, uh, okay. Then that will be all for, for now as I let my as I let it stew within her. And I look at Marlboro and I'm like, yes. Yeah. So definitely something good has happened. It just is not... It's this funny thing of you kind of went to the powers that know things, and these powers that know things did something, but they don't inform you why. So it's this kind of interesting... But you could trust that it is a positive, because that is what... This doesn't screw you over or anything. You want to make nice. Sense. Okay. Um, all right. Now, in that case, we will end for tonight. And uh, come back uh, to or your house and people uh, next uh, week. Those of you watching, thank you so much. And we will see you then. Bye-bye. Good night, y'all.